Hello, this is the second question, um, part C of the structure and bonding paper for 2013, level 2 chemistry NCEA. The question here says chlorine reacts with methane to form chloromethane and hydrogen chloride as is shown in this equation. Using the following bond enthalpies, um, use the following bond enthalpies to calculate delta H for this reaction. Something that is helpful to do is to draw the molecules so that we can count the bonds being broken and formed. So methane is going to look like this. This way you're also showing the examiner that you understand what's going on in terms of bonding. Remember the examiner is possibly slightly moronic. We're doing this at 3 a.m. and therefore you're going to want to make sure you're really clear even with your handwriting. Okay, here we have the reactants and here you have the products. For the reactants, these are bonds being broken. And over here, they are bonds being formed. I have one, two, three, four carbon to hydrogen bonds being broken. Now, some of you will have been taught that you don't need to include three of these hydrogen bonds because we just add them on back here. But I prefer doing it that you break all of them and form all of them and therefore there are no complications. If you can handle not needing to do that or your teacher's taught you not to do that, go with your teacher. Um, I'm going to do it a different way. So I have four carbon to hydrogen bonds being broken on this side. I also have one chlorine to chlorine bond being broken. Here, for hydrogen to chlorine, not relevant, carbon to hydrogen, 414. So four lots of 414 are going to be needed on this side. Here I've got chlorine to chlorine, that's one lot of 242. Four times 414. Four times 414, 1656. Hopefully you can do one times something in your head. And now we add these two together. So that's 1898 kilojoules per mole. We then need to do the bonds being formed. So we have one, two, three carbon to hydrogen bonds. We have one carbon to chlorine bond. And we have one hydrogen to chlorine bond. So three times 414. 1 times carbon to chlorine up here is 324 and hydrogen to chlorine up here is 431. Cool. 3 times 414 equals 242, 1,242. Add those all together. We have 324 
plus 431, I had left 1,242 on my calculator, and that gives us 1,997 kilojoules per mole. Now, delta H equals the bonds being broken minus the bonds being formed. So, one th in this case, 1,898 minus 1,997. And that is going to equal the negative... negative 99 kilojoules per mole. Okay, here is the marking schedule. It says here, identifies bonds broken and formed. So I suppose ideally, I've made it quite clear that these bonds here are all being broken and these bonds here are all being formed. What I should have done over here is said bonds broken and just made it really clear. And down here bonds formed. And I could have even done with my delta H bonds broken minus bonds formed. So that's achieved criteria. Process for calculating delta H correct, however, one minor error. So if I had made an error in my calculations, sorry, let's just wait for it to focus. Thank you. If I'd made an error in my calculations, say I'd multiplied this by five or something like that, that would be getting me a merit correctly calcul calculates delta H with units and negative sign. So for example here, if you'd forgotten the negative sign or something like that, um, that would be the minor error. However, I got excellence on this question and as you can see here, they have done it this way and they have also done it the way I mentioned at the beginning where they didn't include all the carbon to hydrogen bonds. So. This here is what gets me excellence. This here, being able to identify the bonds being broken and the bonds being formed, that gets you achieved. So if in doubt, and you're not very good at this kind of thing, identify which bonds, so the four carbon to hydrogen, the one chlorine to chlorine bond, they're being broken, and bonds being formed being the three carbon to hydrogen, the one carbon to chlorine, and the one hydrogen to chlorine. That gets you achieved. One more thing. We didn't come across it in this, but sometimes you might have, say, a two in, in front of one of the molecules. You need to take that into account. If there had been a two in front of my methane, I would have then put a two in front over here, and I would have then needed to multiply this here by 2 as well. And I would have written it like that, and then over here written my A term instead of my 4. Okay? So remember to include this, whatever number is in front of your molecule, all the way through. That is it. Hopefully this has been helpful. I have just remembered one more thing, and unfortunately this is the second time I'm recording it. Add these addition signs in because that shows really clearly that you are adding, in this case, these two numbers, and in this case, these three numbers. Otherwise, the examiner might not get that that was what you were trying to do, and you could be marked down for it if you get things wrong.